there are no shortages of free VSTs out there, and you could spend a lot of time searching for, downloading, and installing free instruments. But most free instruments require you to set up an account, give a company your information, sign a release, verify your account, download the instrument, install the instrument, register the instrument, remove the right hand pinky finger from your third born child, and bang your head against the wall three times. Of course I jest, but you get the idea. Sometimes it's just not worth the time and hard drive space, especially if you're not sure that the library will be usable. Free pianos definitely fall into that category, because let's face it, you're not going to find a 31 gig Fazioli with 13 releases, Sordino pedal, muted strikes, and 8 microphone positions for free. At least, I don't think you will. Thus, most free pianos would be classified as something called character pianos. These are usually upright, baby grand, or really old pianos that have a lot more tonal color and can be mellower or harsher than a typical concert grand. And this isn't a bad thing, because character pianos are used all over the place, especially in Crimea. Uh, wait, what does that say? Crimea? Oh, cinema. Cinema, especially if used in cinema. One of the best examples that I can think of is the movie Ray. Probably half of the pianos in the movie are character pianos. There's this one. And this one. And this one. Oh wait, that's a whirly. Here, try this one. Lots of great content from character pianos. Of course, older grand pianos are sometimes classified as character pianos because they don't live up to the modern pristine grand piano standards. And if we're talking movies, I would argue that the absolute best ever piano scene in a movie, which happens to showcase such a piano, is Roman Polanski's it's The Pianist. It's the pinnacle of the entire movie when Adrian Brody's character is finally discovered by a German officer and then, of all things, asked to play a piano. Pianist. I honestly have a lot of trouble not getting emotional when watching the scene because it is so incredibly powerful. The number of metaphors contained is stunning. If you haven't seen this movie, go watch it. It really embodies the essence of this thing we call music. But you probably didn't come here to wax nostalgic about old piano movies. You want to hear if these free instruments are any good. So let's go. Today I'm going to play four different and popular free piano VSTs, and I'll post the specs up on the screen here. Starting with the 1928 Vintage Grand, which is available in sound paint for free. This is by far the largest library, coming in at a whopping 8.05 gig with 4,892 samples. The piano is Troll's personal piano, with a great backstory that adds to its character. It also still has the original strings from 1928, so even though it's a Steinway full grand, it definitely has a different color to it, and it's really great of Trolls to give us this wonderful gift. Piano number two is available from the Vienna Symphonic Library and is a Bosendorfer Imperial recorded on their silent stage to eliminate room reverb. It's called the Soft Imperial because, well, that's its character. It's not a felt piano, but rather has a softer attack and release, and you can tell the difference if you watch the volume meters when I hit a note. This one comes in at 2.4 gig. Piano number three is the Free Foundations piano from Heaviosity. This runs in the free contact player, which again is very generous, as it means that Heaviosity actually loses money with every download. This one comes in at 2.7 gig and appears to be a Kawai Grand and at least an 8 footer, although I have not been able to confirm that. And finally, piano number 4 is the Soft Piano by Spitfire and is available in their Free Labs package. This is a great set of free tools that are pretty high quality and the Soft Piano is no exception. All of these libraries are great, and some of them are true grands, so if you download all four, you'll have quite a mixture of different instruments. I'm going to play two examples from each one, and I'll tell you my ranking at the end. I've tried to use the most basic patch for each that I could find, and I removed some of the reverb in order to try and make the comparisons uniform. Let's start with piano number one. Thank you. 
That was Trolls 1928 Vintage Grand. Here is piano number two. That was the Soft Imperial by Vienna Symphonic Library. Next is piano number three.
and that's Heaviosity's Foundations Piano. Finally, piano number four. That is The Lab's Soft Piano by Spitfire, and that rounds out the shootout. I really like some of these pianos, and here's how I would rank their basic sound. But what I would really like to know is how you would rank them. So tell me your rankings in the comments. If I get enough votes, I'll post the results in part two of this series, where we explore the shortcomings, look at special features, and other unique patches from each piano. Special thanks to all my new subscribers as we recently hit the 250 mark. If you are new to the channel, check out some of my older videos because we post free patch libraries to several of the instruments that I review. Please hit the like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and we will see you on the other side of the mountain.